You guys have no idea how my day has started. And yes, the beginning of my day was bad enough to where I am now in my pajamas. Sit down, baby. You sit down, baby. You sit down. from being a very super productive day I had to drive up here to Charlottesville uh, to do some testing the funniest thing about it is when I got up here the testing facility was closed there was like 10 people there was like 10 people uh, here doing all sorts of different tests but there was 10 people waiting for uh, to do their testing and after about an hour of sitting and waiting everybody pretty much was fed up so we all wrote our names down on this list and slid it underneath the door the place that it opened at 9, it's 10 o'clock, well, 10.41 now, and nobody heard any answers or got any results from these people. So, I guess everything's kind of, like, left uh, hanging out there, so. But I gotta go into this awesome store that we all know and we all love. We're going into here, Best Buy. I gotta go in here and look at a couple things, primarily for us, so we can make sure that these vlogs stay as, so I can keep these vlogs looking as priceless as they always do. Good lord. That's how much my drone cost? Oh my god. That is literally how much my drone cost. And that's without a GoPro or a second battery or anything. That is nuts. Dang, Daniel. Look at this thing. This is a typhoon. I've never even seen this thing. This little, that little camera shoots in 4K? There's no way. That little camera shoots in 4K. That's unreal. This thing is a potato. That, that is... A potato, if I've ever seen a potato. But the solo is the quest for some gear that we need. What is this? Dog harness? I could put a GoPro on Sasha. That's pretty nuts. Here's for the chest. Chesty. Here's for the chest. Uh, head strap, quick mount. Oh my god. I just found the most beautiful thing guys, I think that I've ever found in my entire life. The GoPro Karma. Oh my word. Oh, they got the Karma gimbals. $2.99 is really not that bad. So, they don't have any gimbal gimbals. They have some stuff that is kind of like gimbals, but not exactly what we're looking for here. They got a lot of nice glass in this place, by the way, though. We were looking for a good book bag that we could throw the drone in, throw this camera in, throw this tripod in, without, like, having to worry about the drone. I can't fit the drone inside my current book bag, so now we gotta find a suitable backpack that's not so bulky like this one, but one more or less that we can use uh, and just throw stuff in and go. But I, I haven't been having very much luck with that. And then the other thing we're looking for is a gimbal, but see, this is the gimbal here by DJI. But good lord, it's more it's, it's more expensive than my drone. So I don't really think I'm going to get that gimbal just because it's so damn expensive. More drones, more drones, more drones. How much is, how much is this thing? Get it on. Okay, apparently this thing's got 279 This thing can't be good. This thing cannot be good at all. What... What is this shoot in? There's no way this shoots in 1080p. This sh probably shoots in 1080 potato. So, nothing really to be found. Man, they have so much cool stuff in here all the time. This is probably like one of my favorite stores. I love this store to death. By the way, shout outs to Astro. Walter, what's up, man? I know you probably aren't seeing this at all. But man, I'm very proud of you guys. I'm, I'm, prou I'm proud to see your stuff in stores now. Man, I waited. You guys have no idea. I, I waited so long for your products to be in store and, and to be able to be like, wow, man, like, at one point, like, I was just getting stuff from you guys. Like, I remember when I would come up to your booth and uh, Walter would hook me up with cables when we were at tournaments and things like that that we needed because we really didn't have a whole bunch of cables uh, at the time or, like, we would leave them at home and, and things like that. So I thought it was really funny just to see your products in the store and see how far you guys have come. It's freaking amazing. Sadly, uh, today is just a reoccurring theme of failure. So, 
Uh, we're going home now. Uh, we went into Best Buy. Best Buy, A, did not have a gimbal. B, they did not have uh, the dome. I can't really explain it, but it's basically this thing that you put your camera in so when you're in water, you can shoot like halfway in the water and then halfway out of the water. They didn't have that. And they also didn't have VGA to HDMI. Granted, I know uh, VGA is being super outdated now and like DVI is like came in and like moved into place and HDMI is just kind of taking over everything. But still, there's a lot of things that I feel like there's a lot of products that still use uh, HDMI. Not HDMI, I mean VGA. But either way, nonetheless, we're gonna head back home. Uh, we're probably gonna take the drone out today. It's super, super nice out. Uh, but yeah, just I, apparently today I can't catch a break for anything. Babe, yeah, down. I can't really so off in the cloud. I got that cake oh, down off a of say Can I just say that popo ain't around? Yeah, yeah. That probably irritated me the most about that whole situation. I'm just going back on it. I know I should just probably leave it alone and forget about it. it was just the fact that I wasted time. Oh my lord! There's nothing more than I, that I hate the most than wasting time. I feel like when I'm not being productive and something is not getting done that I have on my list of things to do, it ruins my entire day. It just destroys my day because I feel like if I, because see, I feel like you only have 24 hours in a day. You have one life to live the life that you want. So my thing is. I want to make the most out of every single hour. I want to make sure that I make every single minute of my life count towards something that I feel is productive. Now, don't get me wrong. I like to sleep and I love sleeping in, but sleep is my enemy. And the reason sleep is my enemy is because I feel like nothing gets done. And while I'm asleep, there's other people that are awake doing what I want to do. Achieving goals that I've set for myself and they're out there grabbing them while I'm asleep. So I try not to sleep a whole lot. I, not, I try not to sleep in a lot because I feel like I'm not being very productive when I'm asleep. So for me to go out of my way to go somewhere and for them to be closed and not even acknowledge that they're closed and give us a, like a call ahead of time and say that the facility is going to be closed really really bums me out because I feel like that I just wasted well I did I woke up at 7 o'clock it is now 12 30 I just literally wasted my entire morning so now I have to start the rest of my day uh we're gonna go we're gonna go visit my parents real quick and tell them the news about us not being able to go we're gonna take the drone out for a little bit get some nice shots but uh, I'll see you guys at my parents house oh no I don't think they're home her car is here but the question is oh wait the door's open in the back. They're definitely here. Hey, Mom. Hi. Get it. Go away. So, you wanna hear the news? So, I get to the testing facility, right? So, anyways, I get there, there's like, at least, there, well there was, there was 10 people because we signed this list. We, Mom, they said, it said they open at nine. Guess what time we all waited there till? 11. All right, so <clears throat> left the parents' house. Back now, running like I'm bold. Ain't no going back now. Times are getting cold. Day day, I've been fast. Yeah, looking for that gold. Prayed up on that podium and ran away from home. Yeah, car some cans on cold. They told me that's the drop. I don't see why I can't go on. Yo. So, I wanted to talk to you. I wanted to talk to you guys uh, about the subject of matter that I was trying to talk to you guys earlier about. Now, like I said earlier today, I drove all the way to Charlottesville uh, just to get there to end up finding out that the test that I was going to go take, the place wasn't even open. And the thing that blows my mind about this is like, the, the first thing that went through my mind was like, okay, well, that sucks. And then I was like, well, maybe it wasn't meant to be. Maybe I wasn't able, maybe I wasn't meant to take the test. So it, it's one of those moments where I feel like people would be like, wow, man, you kind of have some bad luck. I don't believe in luck. See, I believe luck is when opportunity meets timing. That is your luck. I don't believe in bad luck. I don't believe in good luck. I believe that things happen for a reason. And I think that like I have bad luck or anything like that. I, I always try to like catch myself saying it because I don't really believe in luck. You make your own luck. But I also wanted to talk to you guys about something that was really, really cool that uh, I experienced earlier today. So I'm at the grocery store and I'm stopping because I need to get charcoal because uh, we're grilling 
out this weekend, but when I was like going by, I saw the guy that was in my last video, which is this video right here. I'm going to do like a little still frame of him, but it is that guy. So I stopped and I was talking to him and I was like, hey man, I was like, by any chance did you get to see the video uh, that I posted the other day? Did Anthony show you the video? My bets were that Anthony didn't show this guy the video, which led to this really awesome conversation about uh, finding out like what content does he go for on YouTube and like where does he go for entertainment? But the other cool part about all of this was one of this guy's co-workers actually chimed in on the conversation and he was asking what we were talking about. We were talking about my vlogs and then he was like, wait a minute, you vlog? And I was like, yeah, you know, I try to weekly vlog. I try to upload a vlog every single week uh, and I try to be as entertaining as possible. And then uh, he went to go grab a piece of paper and he, he wrote down my channel. So if, by the way, if you're watching this right now, Thank you very much. If you did subscribe, thank you very much, man. Welcome to the Arrayus community. We appreciate it. Everybody give him a welcoming warm of applause. Does that even make sense? <laughs> but either way, thank you very much for joining the channel, man. I really appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of this video and what you think of uh, this channel and what you want to see. Because ultimately, it really comes down to what everybody wants to see. I want to thank all of you guys for watching all my videos and, and being, being this community that we're growing here on this channel. I love you guys so much. I appreciate every little moment that we have here. It's so freaking awesome. And like to hear your feedback in the comments and things like that, it's freaking amazing. Like I love when I go to a video in the morning that I just uploaded and like seeing comments and like having something to respond back to and like having like a, a community to interact with. It's freaking awesome. The next morning. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And like always, guys, if you could, please go ahead and give that like button a clickety clack. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you go ahead and do so. We would all greatly appreciate it. It's freaking awesome, guys. We're at 1,177 subscribers right now. Let's see if we can get to 2,000 by the end of this month. That'd be awesome. But with that being said, and with that always being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, vlog. And... Now, all my friends, this sign, and then I.